Hey, good morning, everybody. King is Oz here for George Lange Event Productions. We've got a girls in a 15 match right here. The AC Alliance Spirit going up against the SoCal Blues. Blues, of course, in their neon shorts. Spirit in red. And we've got two 25-minute halves here. No overtime. This is just bracket play games. See who gets seated in what order in the elimination rounds. First half just underway. And right now it's Spirit coming in deep. Spirit coming off a big win yesterday against the Voca squad. A 1-0 match. And right now ball at midfield. We'll get to the rosters for each of these squads here in just a minute. And this Boca squad actually who lost to the Spirit playing in the field right next door to us here. So the action moving over to the far side is that goal kick taken on the far side of the box there. The Alliance Spirit coming in as the so-called underdog here in this game, but they did pull off a pretty good upset yesterday against Boca with that 1-0 victory. So, of course, in these tournaments, anything goes. You've got a lot of great teams coming from all over the place. These two teams here from Southern California. Ball centered in the middle. And that spirit defense get there. Number 13, Monique Escalera with a nice play right there. Ball over on the far corner. Cleared out, number nine, Jessica Palayo. Nice play right there. Up to number 21 in the middle of the field. That's Natalie Maxey. Natalie passes it upfield. Had two teammates there, number 10, Casey Licata, and number 18, Jasmine Ponce. Blues right now. Trying to keep the action here on the left half of the field. Now it's in the circle. Over to the far side, touched there by Lee Edwards, number 13. And the ball out. Megan inside of her, the other side of her. Ball bounces away from the net. Now finally cleared across midfield. And goes out on the far side. They say his last touch by the Spirit. And so the ball will go to the Blues. Spirit, nice job moving the ball into the middle of the field. Quickly. Number 10, Casey Licata. Off to her teammate number eight here, Megan Gonzalez. Gonzalez back inside. Brittany Cadena. Wind picking up here at the Polo Grounds. This time moving from east to west. Yesterday, breeze coming in from the coast. So it's changed directions here today. Spirit trying to make something happen right there in the middle, but the ball taken away by the Blues. And as it rolls over to the far side, number 19 gives chase, Jessica Perez. And she's going to run out of room over there on the far side, and it's the Blues who will put the ball into play. <laughs> Lauren Weaver, the keeper right now for the Spirit. Now it's a spirit. Trying to control the game here with a short pass. Now up across midfield. Megan Gonzalez trying to get around a couple of defenders. She does manage to break free. And the ball out right here at midfield. Got it, ladies. You got him? Not too, not too high, Meg. Come on, 
So the Blues will have the throw in here on the near side. Number 15, Natasha Gilmer. And Gilmer's toss is going to be deflected and taken away. Now right down the middle, number 18, Jasmine Ponce. Changes directions, now moves well inside. And let's see, we're going to have a push to the back, and that's going to go against the Spirit, against Ponce. And so quickly on that kick, the Blues bring it across midfield, and it's off the red team. And they'll put it into play. Number seven from the far side, Danielle Green. So they're pumping a little more air into the ball over there on the far side. Seen a couple of things I haven't seen in a while in this tournament here, the first two days. Yesterday, everyone's set on their positions, ready for the opening whistle, and couldn't get that opening whistle because the referee didn't have one. They had to scramble to the referee tent and pick one up. A little delay there, about five or six minutes. Ball at midfield in the circle. Both teams battling, and it's the Blues coming out with it. Number eight, Gabby Zarnagar. We saw the flag go up on the far side. Ball belongs to the Spirit. So we'll give you those rosters. Double zero, Lauren Weaver. Number two is Desiree Mesa. Number four, Jasmine Reyes. Number five, and number eight, Megan Gonzalez. Number nine is Jessica Palayo. Number 10, Casey Licata. Number 12 is, hang on one second as we watch the action start up again. A few times I try to give the rosters and all of a sudden I miss a score. Number 12, Ashley De La Rambage. Number 13 is Monique Escalera. Number 14, Titiana Saltos. Number 15, Brittany Cadena. Number 16, Cassie Swanson. Number 17, Sonia Gramajo. Number 18, Jasmine Ponce. Number 19, Jessica Perez. Number 20, Ashley Caligiri. And number 21 is Natalie Maxi. All over on the far side. It'll be a corner for the Blues. Paul Caligiri, the head coach of the Spirit. Beth Maxi, the manager. Blues with a shot right in front of that header up in the air. Still up in the air. A lot of chaos going up in front of the man. It's deflected away. Nice job by the Spirit. Not sure how they kept that ball out of the net. But the defense holds right there. The Blues with a couple of opportunities and they're sent away. So Gilmer here on the near side. Nice toss as it nearly makes it to mid or into the middle of the field. A lot of red jerseys there for the Spirit, and they're going to clear it away up towards midfield, but they can't control it. And it's the Blues right there with three on the midfield line, keeping it here on the left half of the field. And that whistle with a push on the Blues. And so the ball belongs to the Spirit. No score here in the first half. And I will give you the roster for the Blues. Number one is Kimberly Cushing. Number two, Elizabeth Eddy. Number three, Sarah Halverson. Number four is Jillian Hogan. Number five, Greer Zerboni. That shot right into the hands of the keeper. A save right there for the Blues. Number nine, Megan Ferry, the keeper. Six is Kelsey Wilson, seven, Danielle Green. Eight, Gabby Zarnagar. Nine, Megan Ferry. 10, Alexandra Harrison. 13, Lee Edwards. 15, Ataja Gilmer. 18, Rachel Manning. 19, Alexandra Trenari. Number 20 is Christina Hart. Number 22, Kendall Romine. 
head coach Tad Bobak and the team administrator is Janice Roman. Number four for the Blues, Jillian Hogan. Upfield, teammate number eight, Gabby Zarniger. Now they come in deep. Shot is going to hit the side of the net. So the Blues saw an opening there, but they came in too deep. And they didn't have much of an angle, and that shot will hit the side of the net. And Lauren Weaver will watch it. So as the Spirit bring the ball up towards midfield, it goes out off of the Blues. And this one is going to shape up to be a nail biter. It's certain here. It's going to go down to the wire. I've got a feeling. These two teams very evenly matched right now. And nobody's got an advantage so far to this point. Free kick goes to the Blues. Here in the first half, the strong side is that far side. For each squad. Now surrounded by a sea of blues. Brittany Cadena. She manages to get out of that trouble. And now number 13 trying to get to the ball, but he does skip out. That was Monique Escalera. Blues putting the ball into play. Touch there by number 10, Casey Licata. Licata. She was surrounded by three Blues players and manages to clear it up towards midfield. Oh, nearly getting there in that crossing lane right there was number eight, Megan Gonzalez. Just a half step too late. Gilmer here goes cross field. She thought number eight was going to release there towards the net, Gabby Zarnagar. And Gabby was held up there by the defense. And so it's a goal kick for this spirit. Oh, Spirit nearly bringing it across midfield. That was number 10, Casey Licata. She gets some help, though. As up always recovered again. Number eight, Megan Gonzalez. She's been all over the field here in this first half. Pass over to the far side. Now they go inside again. Nice clearing job there. Number 21, Natalie Maxey. As the ball rolls through the circle. That's number seven, Danielle Green. Firing it across midfield. And it's going to be tough here for the Blues to get a shot on goal. That pass over to Gilmer over her head. Trying to get back to the ball, but Gonzalez there again. Number eight, finally out. And the ball belongs to the Spirit. The left leg, Kelsey Wilson, number six for the Blues. Ball gets by, number 19, Jessica Perez. Now there's a shot on the ground towards the net, picked up nicely by Weaver. Not much of a threat there. Blues going away from their playbook that they've had here in the first half where they get in deep. They have a series of passes, look for a good shot. This time they just got down there and took the first shot they had. But it goes right to Weaver. And as the Spirit bring it downfield from left to right, they're going to run out of room on the far side. Or on the back side there. And a goal kick for the Blues. Ball on the ground. Oh, off the leg of number 10, Licata. 
Blues now with it. They bring it across midfield. Number four, Jillian Hogan. Now they want to put it into the middle. Can the spirit clear it away? Gilmer is there and Megan Gonzalez. Gonzalez clears it away. Ball in the circle and the Blues will bring it here to the near side. Gilmer goes inside. Teammate number five, Greer Zerboni. And Greer takes a shot on a bounce right out of the hands of Lauren Weaver. And another save. Nice strong kick across midfield, but with the header. The Blues managed to press it out the other way. Nice block right there, number 18, Rachel Manning for the Blues, and she's gonna recover, get back to the ball. Get some help from her teammate, number eight, Gabby Zarnagar. And they run out of room. It goes out across the back line off the spirit. And it'll be a corner kick for the Blues. Where are you going? No. When we say no, it doesn't mean you just go. No. Put them back on. And that corner is going to be off the mark and out behind the net. And so a break for the spear right there as they don't have to defend that corner. And Lauren Weaver will put the ball down for the kick. Substitutions on the far side coming out. Number eight, Gabby Zarnagar for the Blues. No substitutions yet for the Spirit. Action over on the far side. Spirit want to bring it inside. Blues with that header off the forehead. That was number six. Kelsey Wilson. A little shake in there. No, it's actually number five. Greer's your bony. Monique Escalera, number 13. Ball is out, though, off the Blues. So the Spirit now moving in deep. Let's see if they can get a shot on goal here. We're still tied at zero. Ball bouncing now, it'll bounce away and shot up towards midfield, but the Spirit will keep it here on the right half of the field. And number 20, Christina Hart brings it across midfield. Upfield pass, number two, Elizabeth Eddy, her teammate Eddie. Now will take an angle in towards the middle. And I think her center pass was just off her foot because it goes out across the back line. She had Gilmer in the middle there and number 18, Rachel Manning. Gilmer with a header back towards the net. Now right back to number 15. Gilmer can't get a shot. And there's Megan Gonzalez, number eight. She's going to be tripped up from behind. And Spirits ball. Hey, Bear. Bear, when we go through, we'll do So with the leg of Casey Licata, the ball back into play. She shoots it into the middle. There's Gilmer again using that height. Pushes that header into the circle. And the Blues now working their way out. Number 20, Christina Hart. Over to the far side, teammate Danielle Green. Ball here to the near side and out.
It actually rolls here to the adjoining field. Throw comes in by Gilmer, number 22, battling for it there. Kendall Romine. And Megan Gonzalez will push it out here on the near side. Gilmer in the Blues again will put it into play. Nice strong toss. Ooh, they can't get a shot. Number three was in position, Sarah Halverson, but the ball bounced just too high. And the Spirit defense clears it up towards midfield. It's going to go out on the far side, off the Blues. So the substitution's in for the Spirit. And the play resumes from the far side. Beautiful day here in San Diego at the Polo Grounds at Del Mar, just about half an hour to the north of downtown San Diego. Earlier in the week, they were actually calling for rain this weekend, but none of that in sight. Just a few clouds here today, even less yesterday. Now they push that rain into next week. And we're just about, oh, that ball in front of the net, but a nice save there by Weaver. Kick comes in here right beneath us and bounces out. So three new Blues players into the match. Gilmer will sit out. Elizabeth Eddy moves her way inside. Nice job by number 17 getting in the way of that ball. Sonia Gramajo as number eight, Gabby Zarnagar. Could have had a nice angle there, looking right at the net here from the near side. Sonia able to get in front, and the ball was off the Blues. And after that goal kick, they'll keep the ball here on the left half. Now it's in the circle. Touched by number 20, Ashley Caligari. So the ball rolls out as the Blues run out of room over on the far side. But it was last touched by the Spirit, so they'll put it into play. Number four trying to make something happen, Jillian Hogan. Ball comes out, they still have it on the far side. Ball's gonna roll here to the near side. Spirit clearing it away from the net. Can anybody get to it before it rolls out? The Blues do. And there's number 19, Alexandra Chinari. We'll give and go right back to her. Nice job here on defense. Number 10, Casey Licata taking it away. Now she's gonna streak down the near sideline. Chinari giving chase. Nearly trips her. No touch right there. Now they go inside. Blues are gonna have to knock it back out here to the the line on the near side of the field. Go, girls help her out. Licata. Yeah. 
So the ball will be put into play here on the near side. Not sure what the referee was barking about. You know, the head coach here didn't say a word on the near side. Ball rolls over to the far side, number 13, Monique Escalera. And let's see, it's off of Monique, so the Blues defense. We'll hold this time, it goes out and the ball belongs to the Blues. Ashley Caligari there stepped in front, needed some help, but was surrounded by too many Blues players. And they'll take it away and bring it across midfield. Ball still in play. And a trip right in front of the referee. Belongs to the Spirit. And now they open things up here in the middle. Long passes, and now it's the spirit this time, Desiree Mesa, number two. Nice change of direction as she moves into the middle. Her pass gonna be deflected. But getting back to it, number 18, Jasmine Ponce, looking for some help. Jasmine still with the ball, still being trailed there. Now the pass off to number 10, Casey Licata. Licata over to Mesa. Mesa right back to Licata in the corner. Can she save it? She does. And that shot is centered nicely. Spirit will bring it back out. Mesa going right back at it. And this time the ball belongs to the Blues here on the near side. Spirit here with the ball on the near side. They want to move it in the middle. They want to try to get a shot. It's late here in this first half. No score so far. The referee looking at his watch. Ball outside the circle. Now again comes over and there's the whistle in the end of this first half. So a we'll scoreless first half between the AC Alliance Spirit and the SoCal Blues. Girls under 15. Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes.
Kings Austin, awesome. George Landsman Productions will be back for the start of the second half of this match between the AC Alliance Spirit and the SoCal Blues. And they played to a tie 0-0 in that first half. And so the final 30 minutes of play. Only one show. And so defending the goal here on the right half is the Spirit. Blues trying to set something up, and that's going to be off the Spirit here. Danielle Green with the kick goes off at number 13, Monique Escalera. Green, nice toss into the middle. Over to number four, Jillian Hogan. Hogan trying to get around two defenders, can't do it. It's pushed back up here towards midfield. Spirit here over to the near side. Now they try to push it into the middle up towards midfield. Blues defense all over them. So Gilmer will put the ball into play over from the far side. So here at field number 16, the game started at 9.20 in the morning here, Saturday, the 25th of November, 2006. The 13th annual Thanksgiving weekend surf cup. All girls, remember, they've got the surf cup in the summer over the course of two weekends. That's divided up into age groups. But that's boys and girls. And this tournament here, just girls. A lot of college coaches looking around. Ball kept in a play here on the near side. Oh, a collision right here just below midfield. The ref says keep playing. Number 21, Natalie Maxi and number seven, Danielle Green colliding there. And as the ball comes down, number 10, Casey Licata. Spirit. We'll just have to clear that over to the far side, and that's going to go out. So the ball belongs to the Blues as the Blues were penetrating deep right in front of the net there. And finally, it was cleared out over to the far side. As the throw comes in, it's going to be cleared back to the far side. And now right into the hands of Lauren Weaver, the keeper. So Weaver doing a good job here today. for the Spirit, and now you gotta look at the Spirit. They haven't allowed a goal yet. They shut out Bokeh yesterday 1-0. And now they're here into the second half, tied 0-0. So they've done a great job, Coach Paul Caligiri. A legend in the soccer community in his own right. That pass is gonna be Perfectly placed. The cross into the center and the Blues are going to knock that one into the back of the net. And I believe that was Jillian Hogan. Number four. So just a slight breakdown right there in defense by the Spirit as they were all brought out, then that center pass was perfect right to Hogan. And a dead-on kick found the back of the net, so 1-0. And let's see how the Spirit will play this one. That ball out across the back line, so a goal kick for the Blues. across midfield. And that's number two, Elizabeth Eddy. And as she tries to move inside, Mates uh, number two, Desiree Mates uh, for the Spirit taking it away. Will so by the referee that's gonna go against the Blues. Number 10, Alexandra Harrison. Now the red team brings the ball up across midfield. Spirit number 14, Titiana Saltos. Natalie, 
Blues with the ball at midfield. So as we said, when this game, we're in the first half, not when it started, but probably three quarters of the way through that first half, this is gonna be a nail biter. And right now it's the Blues with a one nil lead here in the second half. Nobody's running away with this one. It's not over. Number 13, Monique Escalera puts the ball into play. And as she does, it's going to go off number 10, Casey Licata. And so a goal kick for the Blues once again. But let's see if the Spirit can continue with the pressure here on the left half of the field. Blues managed to bring it up across. Now they're in the circle. Right down the middle, there she is again, number four, Jillian Hogan. And as she goes inside, it's going to be cleared back out, but the Blues still controlling the action right now. Over here to green, number seven. She got a lot of room to work with here on the near side. She picks her angle, takes a shot towards the net. Ooh, the header back the other way, and Gilmer will knock this one into the net. What a play right there. The header to the back, backwards, right to Gilmer, who was in the right place at the right time. And it's a 2-0 lead for the Blues over the Spirit. Wow, that was a great play. And it's set up here by Green. She had all sorts of room, nobody around her. And she lofted that ball nicely. Happened so quickly, couldn't quite get who that header was for the Blues, but it was certainly Gilmer who knocked the ball into the net. Spirit. Now they really need to attack right here, down to nothing. They can cut this lead in half, then they've got some time to work with to tie this score. Number two with the header, Elizabeth Eddy, and the way that header went, that might have been Elizabeth with that assist right there. Over to Gilmer on that score, but not sure. But it was the same type of header right there. Ball in the play. Now it's fired over here to the near side towards the back line. It's a foot race. Green trying to get there. Number 13 as well, Monique Escalera. And let's see, it's off of Green. So a goal kick for the Spirit. Eddie, off now to number three, Sarah Halverson. Halverson into the middle. Nice recovery by number 20 there, Christina Hart, as she was positioned just the wrong way, had to change your body and still had time to just flick that ball over to her teammate. That's gonna go against the Blues. Number four, Hogan. Ball on the near side. It's going to skip away for number 19, Jessica Perez. It was coming right at her. Then the spin on the ball, once it hit the ground, just blasted away from her. Nothing she could do right there. Just a bad break. Nice save of that ball. Near the back line. Might have saved a corner kick right there. And now the Spirit will bring it across now. Midfield, number 20 up front, Ashley Caligiri. Caligiri again here in the near side. This time the ball off of her leg. And now off number 19, so that's Jessica Perez. So the ball belongs to the Blues. Green and the pace 
has really picked up, as you would imagine. As a Spirit trailing by two goals, now trying to push the issue and bring the ball up front to try to get a shot. And the Blues definitely trying to keep up with them. They preserve that 2-0 lead. Gilmer with a shot on goal is going to be wide over on the far side. So the care remains 2-0. And Lauren Weaver will take the goal kick. We had substitutions for the Blues, so a little bit of a delay right there. And with a 2-0 lead here in the second half, the Blues are going to be just a little slow getting people on and off the field. Just try to run down that clock. They shouldn't expect to get any more goals. I mean, the two that they've scored so far. were tough to get, and they really can't expect too much more. Ball skipping away from number 14, Titiana Saltos. Their teammates recover. And now it's the Blues bringing it up across midfield. Nice save, number three, Sarah Halverson. Now she moves inside, now it comes back out. Eddie, number two. As to Zarnagar. Now Zarnagar makes a move in towards Annette. Set her nice shot, but it's going to roll right into the hands of Weaver. Nice save by the keeper for the Spirit. Kick just outside the circle. And yeah, push to the back there, and that's going to go to the Blues. Sun really beaten down now. It's a little warm. So the fields are completely dry now. That means they're going to play, well, they've always played really fast. That's one of the noticeable differences of teams that come from other parts of the country. Obviously, they can't play year round like they do here. But they say these fields are very fast, very hard. And that shot will go to the net and high over the bar and out. And substitutions for the Spirit. Number 12 coming into the match. Ashley De La Rambage. And coming out, number 16, Cassie Swanson. And number 21, Natalie Maxey will come into the match for number two, Desiree Mesa. And as the action continues, the ball towards the back line. Nice job there by number 19, using her muscle, Jessica Perez, to take that ball away. The Blues. Just quick to those passing lanes and they take it away. And this time though, they're gonna run out of room and a goal kick for the Spirit. So the ball inside the circle there, number 12, freshly into the game. De La Rama J. Maxie, number 21, going up against Jillian Hogan. Hogan had that first score for the Blues. Ball still in play. Blues making it very difficult on the spirit right now here in the second half, but that whistle goes against the Blues. So a break right now for the red team. Let's see if they can capitalize and get something going here. Nice long upfield pass. 
Number 14, Saltos. Here to the near side. Monique Escalera, oh, and she makes a turnaround shot towards an end. It's gonna be just wide. But that's what the Spirit needs right now. They need to get some shots on goal. And put some pressure on that Blues defense. Try to get something past that keeper. On, Megan Boca. Ferry. Go, Boca. That shot towards the net on the ground right to Ferry. So two in a row here for the Spirit. And let's see if they can continue. Blues will control the kick. Now they've penetrated the defense. Number eight now, Gabby Zarnagar. There's a cross towards an end. It's gonna be just wide. So a cross and then the shot came to the net, but it was just wide. And so Weaver takes the goal kick. And the Spirit can't move it across midfield. The Blues keep it here on this right half. Nice cross pass. It's going to be just a little bit long. Gilmer giving chase, but so is Escalera. Escalera manages to push it upfield here and out, but that's in a better position because it may have been heading out across the back line for a potential corner kick. This time Green has to put it into play from the side and upfield away from the net. Kelly Geary moves it into the middle. She had a teammate there, number 14, Saltos. The Blues got there just half a step quicker. Escalera again, good job keeping it in play. Eddie tries to make her move, but it's cleared away by the defense. Spirit. Did a good job right there. Number 21 now, Maxi. And now the sun ducking in behind the clouds and it got noticeably cooler here just immediately. And the wind picks up. Ball rolls over to the far side. Number 13 for the Blues will pick it up. Lee Edwards. And now across midfield, moving into the middle now. near the corner and now the Blues will come out. We played roughly 17 minutes here in the second half so unofficially now it's about 13 minutes to go. Gilmer battling here on the near side taken away here by number 20 though Caligiri. Comes back the other way here on the near side and Eddie was there. And the ball finally goes out. And Green will put the ball into play. Green with a strong toss, but it's the Spirit taking it away now, coming across midfield. Well, I'm not sure how that ball stayed in play, but it does. And now rolls to the back line. And who was it last touch by? Let's see, last touch by the Blues. So a goal kick for the Spirit. Blues again, take it away. They keep it here on the right half. And it rolls out, belongs to the Blues. Number nine was there for the Spirit, Palayo. Oh, 
So Gilmer for the Blues, who's moved here to the near side as she was between that far side earlier in the half. Scored the second goal for the Blues. Coming in deep, taking a spill right there for the Blues, but recovering. Center pass deflected away by number 19, Jessica Perez. Nice job. And the ball goes out off the blue. So nice job there by the Spirit. Again, this girls under 15 match, just a bracket play game. Spirit with a win yesterday. And they trail in this win 2 0. Most likely with another game later today. Now it's a Blues coming in deep. Keeper makes a nice save right there. Lauren Weaver going one-on-one. -on -one. In fact, it was about four-on-one -on to her disfavor right there. But she's able to make the save. Nice play by the keeper for the Spirit, Lauren Weaver. Ball into the back line. Spirit, there's a shot that's going to hit the side of the net. Nice job there, number 13, Monique Escalera. Spirit. Still aggressive on the offense. Spirit. Oh, they try to keep the ball here on this half of the field. They do. Number 10. Oh, she's going to run into a little trouble. Casey Licata. She was right between two Blues players and is going to lose the ball. Ball saved here on the near side. Now towards the back line near the corner. Pass right in front of the net. Again going up high as Weaver. That's a good thing she did because number 10, Alexander Harrison, was right there primed for the header. And that would have been score number three. But a nice job. That's two in a row by Weaver. Two great saves. Under 10 minutes, we just about eight. Collision there in the middle, number eight. On the bottom, Gabby Zonegar, but the play continues. Nice job there by number 12, Ashley De La Ramage. Yeah, she just pushes the Blues out over on the far side. So number 14 will come out for the Spirit, Saltos. And number eight will come in, Megan Gonzalez. Gonzalez, remember, were very active in that first half. side and it goes out and it will belong to the Blues and now the wind moving from south to north so it's been swirling here this morning it was coming in from the east now it's coming in from about the southeast collision right in front of the referee and that's going to go against the Blues and the spirit will have the ball quickly and they need to push it up running out of time remember they're down 2 0, but you get a score, you cut that lead in half. Even if you got a minute, two to go, anything can happen when you're down by a goal. You just get something to tie. So, obviously, the spirit not out of this one yet. But the clock is running down, and they trail 2 0 late in the second half. Ball rolls out on the far side. Off the spirit. And number 13 for the Blues. Lee Edwards will put the ball into play. And 
and substitutions. Or let's see, no. No substitutions for the Blues. Ball put into play towards the net. High into the air goes the keeper. She's going to be touched in the box. Ball gets away from her. The ball still alive. She recovers and deflects it once. And a whistle by the referee is going to go against the Blues. So nice job by Lauren Weaver. That's her third really great save here in the last 10 minutes. Blues now on the attack again. That shot towards the net, deflected away by Weaver. Pounces on the ball, gets away a second time, and again she recovers. Nice play. So Lauren Weaver. Really doing a heck of a job out there here in the second half. That second score that the Blues had off the leg of Gilmer on a great pass and header play. Really just beautifully placed and not much Weaver could have done right there. But she has made some great saves since. And with the left leg, that boot goes up across midfield. Now there's a header. Maxi number 21 waiting for it to come down and Blues player should have been whistled for that. But it's going to go against the spirit. Not sure quite how that happens because you had Maxi feet on the ground and flying out of nowhere. The Blues player. And Maxi gets whistled for the penalty there. Coming away with it, Spirit, number 12 upfield, Lashley, Villa Rambage. Ball at midfield. Maxi wasn't expecting that pass right there. Tries to handle it. Now to bounce over to the far side. Again, number 12, Ashley. And it's out off, let's see, off the Blues. And the Spirit running out of time here in the second half. They trail 2-0. Unofficially, I've got about three minutes to go here in the match. And it looks like the Spirit will be one and one so far in the tournament. So that ball goes out off the Spirit, so it'll be a corner kick for the Blues. Let's see how the Spirit defense responds here. Ramage manages to push it out. Off to her teammate number 15, Brittany Cadena, but the ball bounces off her hard. Weaver with another nice save. Lauren Weaver leaving it all out there right now. Blues, number three overrunning that ball, Sarah Halverson. There's the whistle and the end of this match. So this girls under 15 bracket play game here on Saturday, the 25th, 5th of November, 2006, will go to the SoCal Blues as they defeat the AC Alliance Spirit. The final score 2-0, both goals coming in the second half. One off of Jillian Hogan, the other one off of Ataja Gilmer. And that was it, 2-0. Lauren Weaver with a heck of a job. Plenty of great saves in the second half for the Spirit. Did they just come up short here? They follow 1-1 one -on -one in the tournament. I'm Ken Gonzalez with George Lange of In Productions. We hope you enjoyed this match. It was exciting with the scoring coming in the second half. And until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everybody.